guys, Keith, welcome back to Life Journey Production Studios. And today we're gonna to take a look at the new Blackmagic Design HyperDeck Shuttle HD. Hopefully very soon they'll come out with a 4K version, but this one's 1080p. And if I switch over right now, you'll be able to see that it is playing right here and you can see the shuttle on the bottom right. And to the left, you can see what it's playing. And then right to my right, I actually have a, yep, that's right, a teleprompter file. And we're gonna show you how to make a rich text format file right out of Microsoft Word. That's one ready to export, but we're going to make one from scratch. And I'll show you how simple that is, as well as being able to change the font size inside the Blackmagic HyperDeck Shuttle HD menu system, as well as the line spacing, the margins, flipping it horizontally or vertically right inside the menu system. And there's also iOS shortcuts available to change from teleprompter mode back to video mode, but that's what we're gonna do right now. So let's just talk real quickly about the play mode. I can hit play and it plays the video. If I hit stop, it stops the video. Let's close the menu system, hit play, and you can see it plays the video. If I hit stop, it stops. If I hit the scroll button with the menus off, I can scroll forward and back very quickly to find my spot if I would need to cue a video. Turn scroll off over to jog and jog lets me go very slowly forward and back so I can literally go slow mo like that. Hit stop if I hold scroll and jog together, then again, I can do this jogging and even set how fast I want it to go. And this is gonna come in handy when we're in teleprompter mode. So if I just keep touching it, it will go at whatever speed I can slow it down to or speed it up to. And if I hit stop and hit the clip button, it'll just play this clip. And I have two clips on this disc. So it's gonna go to the end of this video showing my fountain with the HyperDeck Shuttle HD in the box. And it's gonna stop at the end of this video and it won't continue to the other clips. Now, if I wanted it to play all the clips on the disc, I would turn that clip button off and we'll do that right now. Turn that button off, hit play again. And now it's already switched over to the next clip. Um, and at the end of this clip, which is the same clip with graphics on the front from the live show, I did unboxing the HyperDeck shuttle right here on the channel. So check that out. There is a link up there on the right hand side right now. So you can click on that and watch me unbox it live and hook it up here in the studio live. So there, click over to the other clip. And so now it's going to play all the clips that are on this disc and I'll hit stop. So how do you get over into teleprompter mode? Well, we're gonna hit the menu button again. And in the second item here, first item is the input if you're recording and we'll cover that in another video. The second one is the Kodak. That's what format you're playing videos back in. And both of my videos on my disc are MOV files. They are exported as Apple ProRes. And I have those both just under 30 frames per second. So if you do want to play a number of clips on the same disc, you got to export them, um, preferably in ProRes and the same size 1080p, as well as the same frame rate, and they'll play back to back. Now, if I just want to change clips, I can go right or left with this button. Got to have the menu system off. So if I go right, it's going to go to my clip without fonts, has my logo at the beginning. If I go left, again, it goes to the beginning of that clip. If I go right, it goes to my other clip. So you can hit play. So now we're gonna change the teleprompter mode. So we're gonna hit the menu button. It puts the menu system on the screen. You can see that right there on the corner. And then you do have a menu to be able to move it around, but that's the size of it. So in my studio, you can see I've made my monitor full screen so I can see it up here full screen. So I can read that small box menu. Keep that in mind. It is displaying on the screen. When you go to play, you wanna make sure that that menu is off and you just simply click the menu button until it goes away or click it to have it come back on. So the second choice here, you can reach by hitting set. That keeps you on the record page and goes down to input. We're gonna hit the right button to go down and the left button to go up or I can use the scroll wheel. So the second choice right here is where we're gonna find that the teleprompter choice as well as all the other Kodaks. If you hit set, it goes into that drop down menu. And then I can hit the right button and go all the way down to teleprompter. Um, or I can use the scroll wheel if I so desire. 
and you can see all of the different codecs that you can play back in, but you do want to record in the HyperDeck or another HyperDeck if you want to use the ACE264 codecs because they don't seem to work if you export them in any program. But if you do export in uh, Premiere Pro, ProRes, they seem to work whichever ProRes you choose. So I'm going to click set for choosing teleprompter. It switches over to my last teleprompter file, but I want to show you guys how to do this. So right now we're going to pull the disc out. I'm going to stick it in my PC and we are going to build another teleprompter file. So this drop fame file is already on the disc. So I'm going to go into Microsoft Word, which I have open right now, and we're going to hit file, create new blank page. And there you have a blank page. So we'll just simply go to the um, PDF from Black Magic Design. You can get your text anywhere, including typing it out yourself. I'm just taking some text from the manual. So let's just scroll up here and find someplace interesting. Let's do settings. So we're going to copy settings all the way down to, uh, let's just do the record settings here. I'm going to right click, hit copy. Go back to Microsoft Word um, document, the blank document right here. And I'm going to right click and paste. And I'm going to use the third choice right here for pasting and hit enter. Okay, now that we have it pasted in, we're going to scroll across it with the mouse, highlight it all. We're going to go up here and increase it to a size 12 font. You could go bigger than that, or you can increase the size inside the HyperDeck shuttle menu system. And then now I also want to go up here to the top and hit center. And then now we want to change the background to black, and that's really simple. We're just going to go up here to design, scroll all the way to the right, to the second to last choice right here, page color. Click on page color, and there you have it. It saves it to black and change the font to white. So now we're gonna go up to File, Save As. I'm gonna browse and choose my HyperDeck 2 disk in my menu system. Um, that's the disk that we're going to put it on, and then I'm going to change the file format to rich text format, which is RTF or .RTF, and that's on the list of export settings right down here again in the bottom. So the title of the um, file, teleprompter file is what is at the very top of what we paste it in. So it's settings, right now it's .DOCX. We're gonna change that to uh, .RTF. So we've done that. So you can see the other versions of um, teleprompter files I have on the disk so we can scroll through them and demo that we're going to save settings on here now and it is saved now I'm going to pull the disk and put it in it goes in upside down you can see that right here on the bottom right hand side you pop that in it should just take a second and it will populate and that's our drop frame file so we're going to go to the right until we find our settings file and there it is. So now I can hit play and it will start to play. I can hit stop. I can also hit scroll and I can scroll through it. So if I'm just practicing the lines before I go live or I just want to cue a spot and then do a retake, I could do that and then hit play. Or I can hit jog and jog will let me just slowly go up and down jogging at whatever speed I am moving the dial. Then if I hit jog and scroll, then I can have it slowly go up and I can even turn it down and have it go even slower. Um, I can reverse it the same way and actually go a little bit slower just by adjusting the dial. So you can see it's just crawling now. So we'll go back to the top here. There it is. Now, what if we wanted to go a different size? Let's go into the menu again by pushing the inset menu button. The menu pops up on the screen. We're gonna hit set to stay. Uh, well, actually, we're gonna go to the next screen over, which is monitor. Then we're gonna hit set to stay in this screen. And then there's the size. So if I hit set under size, now I can scroll the size of this up. So again, whatever size you make the file, you can still make it bigger inside the teleprompter. I'm gonna hit set. Then we're gonna go down to the next menu. I can either go right or left to choose the menus. 
or I can use the scroll dial to choose the menus. So now we're gonna set the margins, or actually the line spacing. So let's hit set, that's the second choice. And now we can adjust the line setting to give us more time between the different lines. Um, we will get out of menu here real quickly and go up a little bit more um, with our teleprompter so you guys can see this a little bit better. Hit stop, go back into the menu, screen to set, again, line spacing, set, and now you can see that line spacing changing a little bit better. We'll hit set right there. Now we're gonna go to the next choice, which is set margins. So we hit set button again, and now I can adjust the margins, hit set. Now I'm gonna go to the next choice, which is flip horizontally, hit set. Now it's flipped it horizontally. We're gonna leave that, go to the next setting, which is flip vertically. And so obviously different teleprompters, different needs. I'm using monitors. I don't have a teleprompter, so I don't need to do any uh, horizontal or vertical switching, but I'm gonna hit set. And now it's flipped it um, horizontally and flipped it vertically. I don't need either one of those. So we're gonna turn that one off, go back arrow up one menu, turn that one off and then turn the menu off. And now I've adjusted all of those settings inside the menu system of the HyperDeck Shuttle for my teleprompter, and then I could hit play. And there it is scrolling up and down the screen. Again, if I want it to go slower, I can hit back uh, or jog and scroll, and I can simply go as fast or as slow as I would like to go. So again, there is a look at the teleprompter feature inside the HyperDeck shuttle hd hopefully they'll come out with a 4k version um i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please subscribe and also check out the next video that i'm going to be doing on the hyperdeck shuttle here on the channel very soon i hope you enjoyed that little teleprompter demo of how to create a file how to be able to switch between the teleprompter mode and playing whatever video you have on your disc and yes they can all be on the disc at the same time just pulled it out so I can have video files and I can have teleprompter files on the same disc. And I think that's an important point. Um, and then it'll read the disc. So if you have it set for teleprompter, then obviously it's gonna pop back into teleprompter mode and you can see the teleprompter scrolling on the screen behind me. So that's it for this HyperDeck shuttle video. I hope you enjoyed it again. Uh, I'm Keith, this is Life Journey Production Studios and I'll see you in the next video.